Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump suggests cop killers should immediately face death penalty. President Donald Trump called for the death service for those found guilty of killing police officers who have been killed in the line of duty. The ambushes and attacks on our police must end, and they must end right now, Trump said at the National Peace Officers Memorial Day service on Capitol Hill on Wednesday. We believe that criminals who murder police officers should immediately, with trial, get the death penalty, but quickly. The trial should go fast, he continued. It's got to be fair, but it's got to go fast, and that's happening. Trump honored some of the officers who lost their lives during the past year, including California Police Corporal Ronil Singh, who was shot by an illegal alien during a routine traffic stop the day after Christmas. Ronil came to this country legally in 2003 with the dream of earning the badge of an American police officer, Trump said of Singh, whose family immigrated to the U.S. from Fiji. That was always his dream, and that's exactly what Ronil did. He devoted his life to defending the laws of our country, the president added. Trump invited the members of the Singh family who were in attendance to come up to the stage to address the audience. Ronil's widow, Anna Mika Singh, carrying the couple's 10-month-old son, thanked the president for reaching out to the family following her husband's murder. I actually want to thank you personally. You're the only one that actually reached out and gave your condolences to the family. And it actually means a lot to all of our law enforcement families that are here for the sacrifice my husband and his brothers in blue and sisters in blue have given, she said. Ahead of Wednesday's event, Trump issued a proclamation recognizing the service and sacrifice of police officers to keep the nation safe. On Peace Officers Memorial Day and throughout Police Week, we express our unending gratitude to our nation's law enforcement officers, the proclamation said. Those brave men and women selflessly confront danger to protect our families and defend our communities. We also honor those in blue who have been killed or disabled in the line of duty. We are especially mindful of the tremendous sacrifices of the 106 heroes who laid down their lives last year while protecting their communities. Our nation's law enforcement officers serve with courage, dedication, and strength. They fearlessly enforce our laws, even at the risk of personal peril, safeguarding our property, our liberty, and our lives. We owe them and their families our full and enduring support, the proclamation concluded. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, 43 officers have died so far this year, which is a 32% decline from the first five months of 2018. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.